today I want to show you how to create the baby bunting in a shape of a star. I've shown you this before, but it was a very long video, but it didn't have a lot of detail and I think the explanations were perhaps not the best. Uh, so therefore I want to do this again and I want to show you in much greater detail how to create the baby star. In this video I'm only going to show you how to do the pentagon at the middle of the star and then in subsequent videos we're going to talk about the points and the hat. Let's do this! First of all we need to create one of these and this is a pentagon. That just means that it has five sides. So that's that. We work it as a circle meaning that we begin in the middle here with ten double crochets in a round and then we divide those 10 so that we have four oh sorry five edges with two double crochets here and we then work those five edges I have a repeat for every edge um, and that's gonna make sense when we start doing it but we're going to continue around and you can see every edge is going to be lined with a um, two, with two two rows of holes and these holes are made and if I can find the beginning I think this is my beginning round or my the beginning of my round so here I actually have four I have four chains I chain four and then I skip the hole underneath and then I go on when I come back to the beginning I actually work the last double crochet into the beginning double crochet oh no sorry the beginning chain here so that the last stitch on the the row the round <laughs> the last stitch on the round is a increase together with the beginning chain of the round so that is a little bit uh, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky but i will show you how to do that and it's not that difficult it's just really hard to explain but We'll do this and I also because there are a couple of people who thought that the other pattern was still a little bit small if you know this is a pattern adapted from a doll pattern which is about this I think <laughs> big and then I put in a, a couple of extra rows on it and I did a different hood and other things for this to show how you could make it for a baby instead of just a doll and um, some people still thought it was a little bit small when I did it um, so I actually this time I did a couple of extra rounds here so we can get it even bigger and I'll show you how to do that <laughs> also I think I have four extra rounds up here and I will show you and explain how to how to do that when we get to it so this video is just going to be <laughs> every single round here I hope to get to the end or to the edge um, I really hope we can get there today. It might be too long, but we will see. I'm also using a 3.5 millimeter hook. I know the pattern that I made is actually for a five millimeter hook, but I am crocheting a little bit loosely here because I wanted it to fill more and I wanted the holes to be smaller. So I am, I am just, I'm getting about the same gauge, I think it's called, as with the five millimeter hook. So if you can do that, you can get the same with a three, three and three and a half millimeter as you can with a five millimeter. Then go ahead and do that. I actually think the the holes in between the you can see at the base of every stitch. There's not a giant hole. I think I got a little bit of a more of a hole with the other the other method. So yeah, let's let's start with this. To begin with, make a circle around a finger. Then when you take it off, you can put your needle through and get the yarn and this will make a slip knot. That just means that this end, you can make this slip knot bigger and then you can pull this end and it will become smaller. Now make, or chain, sorry, chain three, one, two, three and do nine double crochet into the first first stitch on your chain meaning the one that can that you can adjust so one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine. Then you can pull so that this closes. You want them to be as close as possible. Then I like to actually take this end here and just secure it because the if this for some reason isn't secured enough and it goes through the middle here, everything will start to unravel from the <laughs> from the middle and it's not pretty and it's really difficult to actually fix. So this will this will hold it. Now go and make a slip stitch in the third chain on your beginning three chains. Here, I think. In the next round, begin with a chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Now in the next stitch, two double crochet, meaning that you're going to increase in the next stitch, which right now I can't see. Here we are. So you're going to increase here, and then you're going to increase in the next stitch. And then you're going to chain one, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going to increase in the next two stitches here, that was one, and an increase in the next one, that was two, and then chain one. Increase in the next. And an increase in the next one, too. And a chain one. Increase. And another increase. And a chain one. Now, when we get to the end, we're in this strange situation where we only actually have one stitch left. Let me show you that. So here we are. I actually have just have one left, so I can't increase in the next two, unless I increase in the first one here. So that was two double crochet in the same one. And then I utilize this stitch that is at the base of my beginning chain. So just go in here, make another double crochet. So now my starting chain here, my starting chain, and my last double crochet are actually in the same stitch. So together they form an increase. Then I just finish this with a chain stitch. And then we can move on. The next one also starts with a chain four. And now we need to skip this. We need to not work in our our holes, if you will, only in the stitches. So the next round you have to increase in the first stitch. So that is one and two. Then do one double crochet in the next two stitches, and then you increase in the last stitch on this side. Oh. Here we go, and then you chain one. So every side is going to look like this. You're going to increase. There are four stitches. The first one you increase in, like this. That's just two double crochet in the same stitch. And then you do one double crochet in the next two stitches, meaning just 
crochet as normal in the next two stitches. And in the last stitch you increase again, so you do two double crochet in the very last stitch. Here. And then you chain one and just skip the next hole. When we get to the last edge, we will increase in the first stitch and we will one double crochet in the next one and one double crochet in the next stitch. Now we've run out of real stitches to work in, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet into the start of the very first stitch we did so that the last stitch and the first stitch are going to create this increase. So we're going to <clears throat> do a slip stitch to join. And so now the last increase here is made up of the first stitch and the last stitch of this round. The next round is going to start again with four, with a chain four. Then we're going to skip the hole here and we're going to increase in the very first stitch. So one and two double crochet in the same stitch here. Then we're going to do one double crochet. Now increase in the next two stitches. So two double crochet in the next one. And two double crochet in the next one after that. Then you're going to do one double crochet and then two double crochet in the <laughs> in the last stitch here. So that is the entire repeat for this round. Then you're going to chain one, skip the hole, and then increase in the first one on the next edge. Do one double crochet. Increase in the next two stitches. So two double crochet in this one and two double crochet in the next one. Then one double crochet and then two double crochet in the last one. Chain one and repeat. So increase, one double crochet, increase two times, one double crochet and then increase in the last stitch and do a chain one to skip the chain one on the previous round. When you get back to the beginning, remember the thing with the with the beginning chain the last increase is going to just be one double crochet into the base of this one so normally we substitute the first double crochet with three with a chain three but in this pattern we substitute the last double crochet with our chain three and then we have our chain one which is this hole here The next round is also started with a chain four, meaning that we have now finished the round and we have skipped the first the first chain one space here. In the first stitch you're also going to increase, so two double crochet in the one, like that. Then we are going to do one double crochet in the next two stitches here then we're going to repeat that so in the next one we're also going to do two double crochet oops i didn't get through all of the <laughs> two double crochet here <laughs> 
and then one double crochet in the next two stitches one and two and then increase in the next one and one double crochet in the next two stitches oops it's not going that well right now <laughs> here we are in the very last stitch we are going to increase so one and two and then chain one again to skip the the chain one space I'm just going to show you one more time two double crochet in the first stitch followed by two my eight, eight double crochet in the next two then we're going to increase in the next one and then one double crochet in the next two stitches two double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches and two double crochet in the next stitch <clears throat> so here we are chain one to skip the chain one space and we're just going to repeat all the way around and of course we're also going to remember again our ending thing So now we're going to start with the easy rounds and all of these rounds are the same but they have a different stitch count. So start with four, <laughs> no, start by chaining four, English, English syntax please. Then you're going to increase in the first stitch here. And then you're going to do one double crochet in each stitch till the end and in the end you're going to increase again chain one and then we're going to do the same thing on all of the other edges on this first round you should have an increase then 12 stitches and then an increase at the end so count these if you have 14 you're golden and if not well, you could sneak some extra stitches in here it wouldn't be a problem these uh, rounds where we have an increase then something and then an increase are the ones that are going to get give us the edge that we want we kind of want five edges rather than this round thing that we have now so <clears throat> you can adjust your stitch count now but don't do it later because you you really need that straight edge here for the pentagon to work properly so you can either of course frock and uh, meaning just rip out the stitches and do it again if you have the wrong stitch count or you can adjust it at this point given that you it's only like a matter of one or two stitches on the whole uh, thing if you have an, a, a a problem generally like let's say you have a stitch too much on all of these sides then <clears throat> i would i would definitely suggest going back and fixing it because well <laughs> it will sort of buckle and be weird if you have too many uh, discrepancies or <laughs> whatever you will call them So these rounds are pretty easy because they are just the same thing. The next round, you'll see here that, that we now increase by two here. So now I should have 
not 14, but 16 stitches on my side, not counting this one, because this one belongs to the last edge, not to the beginning edge here. So I should have 14 stitches here now. No, I should have 14 stitches here and then 16 on the new thing. Then next time I'm going to increase, I'm going to show you obviously, but it should be uh, 18 and then 20 and so on to increase by two every time you do this. And therefore you have an increase and then 12, an increase and then 14, an increase and then 16 and so on. At the edge here, <clears throat> at the end of the edge here, you should chain one, skip this. Again, we're really working as hard as we can to get some sort of edge on this. And then you're just going to repeat it. So two double crochet in the first one here, 12 stitches to get to the other side and then increase in the last stitch. Yeah. So you can see this already got a lot straighter than these round edges that we have here. And the yarn I'm using is actually a blend of, I think, acrylic and some sort of wool. It was really cheap. I got an entire cone. I will show you. I got an entire cone. I've already worked one of these uh, pentagons, so it's it had it was a little bit, a little bit bigger to begin with. But I got this entire thing for um oh. I'm not, I'm not struggling with the price, I'm struggling with the conversion to dollars. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, what would that be? Five, maybe? It cost 40 Danish krones, krone, 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 and, and I think the dollar is in, the dollar's worth seven krona right now. That's really difficult to do in your head. <laughs> I'll just put it up on the screen. But it was really cheap because it gave me free shipping on some other things that I, I wanted to pay for. So I just took this as in the, in the better option than paying for shipping. So isn't that a lovely corner? Now it really looks like a something that could get uh, corners rather than just be a round. But sorry, the, the point of this was that I don't only use acrylic, uh, really, and this is going to be for my own baby. I am pregnant. I am um, three months. Um, or maybe, maybe, I don't know. You'll see. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if he's going to be able to fit into this. But um, I wouldn't normally use acrylic, but this was so cheap. And the other fiber in it is super duper soft. And um, I'm just, um, <laughs> yeah. I hadn't really expected anything because as I said, it was really cheap and there's a lot of it. <laughs> so, but when I when I got it, it was so nice to touch. It's really, it's really nice that I just decided that it would be for this project. And uh, I'm just, I'm hoping it, it works out and we'll see with the, heat issues when, when we get there. I love doing this part because it actually starts. You're so worried uh, when you're when you're doing the initial thing. It's so round, and then when you get to the end, it's like, oh, it's it's actually turning into a five-pointed something. This 
the next round, as I said, is also going to be the same thing. So we're going to start by four, by chaining four. <laughs> then we're going to increase in the first stitch on the edge. Then we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch until we get to the other point, to the other side. No, to the other point. I was, uh, <laughs> was correct the first time. So there should be 14 till we get to the other point, to the next point. And when we're here, we're going to increase in the last stitch too. Then we're going to chain one and continue. So two in the first one, one stitch in each all the way across, and then two stitches in the last stitch. Chain one, skip the, the chain one space, and then continue. And of course, when we get back to the start, Again, we are going to finish by using the very first stitch here as the last double crochet. On the next round, we're going to do the same thing. So chain four skip the the chain one space go into the first stitch and increase in it then crochet one single uh, double crochet into each stitch until you get to the last one and in the last one we're going to increase two double crochet in the last one. Now I am chaining one and then I will continue on doing the exact same thing to all of the other sides. If you get a little bit of curling at the edges that is fine. We will block it later and it will lay flat I promise.
Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you again next Friday.